Vern Gosden with If Jesus Comes Tomorrow, What Then? CBT guitar lesson here. So, uh, good old country song. I really like it. Vern's got it. He's got that country thing, thing down. Tuning is drop D. And uh, we got two solos, the intro and then the main. We got 3B vibrato, 3E vibrato. And then 5-5-E, five, five, slide to 7, rest. 7-5, seven, slide to 2, and then pick the 2. Then 7-D, you can experiment with fingering. I was doing two different ways. But you need 7-D, 7-B. Slide them a whole step to 5-5. Five, five. And then pull off the 5-B to the 3-B, and that's tricky to do. Me want to go. If it's easier, you know, and then 4D, 3B. And then rest, open 2, hammer on the A, open D, open E. Rest, D A, rest, D D. So it's. Then the verse kicks in at 11 seconds in, section 1A. And it's a D major, 2E, 3B, 2G, alternating bass notes. So you're gonna go open E, this works great for drop D, right? Short rest and then down up on the last four strings. And then the open A string follow with the same two strums. And that'll go twice. So your bass melody's going, Two A, open open D G, three B three E. It's a G chord of the B bass, so hit the A string, strum down up underneath, and do that twice. So it's then back to the D, um, but four times. One time being. Seven, 2D, 2B with the open G and E. We're going to play the A string open for the root, down up underneath, the D string second fret, same thing underneath, and do that twice. So it's, no, it's one and a half times. That's one time through. A D7, that's 2E, 1B, and 2G. We're going to do the same thing as we did over the D. So you have. Back to the G, one time through. To the D, one time through. Then G with the B bass, um, one time through. Then to the D, but go like a half time, go. And then A7, uh, like a half time, so it's. And then you go D, but you're gonna hit the open E, strum the D chord, and then 7D muted G, 7B, strum, slide to 5-5, five, five. strum those fives, tough to do, but slide back to uh, 4D and 3B, so it's, you have to force those two fingers in there um, to make that work. Once you get there, um, change up the fingering to where you can go. Several ways you can do it actually. Um, so, 4D, 2G, 3B. You'll hit them together. And then go G, B, G, open E. Okay. 
okay? With whatever fingering you want there. All right, that's a long section there. It repeats the whole thing um, at 58 seconds in, section 1A one time. Then we got minute 44, section 1B. Still continuations of this type of concept with the chords in different um, order. So the G, I just put four times over this. All right, times four, so we have. seven you go twice G D7 to the G two times like that to D and then two four in the E so it's two, and then back to the G D then you gotta change to something else so you'll be going into this open um, no 7D open G 7B 5E it's basically an A chord you're gonna strum those four do it a whole step flat so it's Okay, so then D, and then throws that part in again. So like, cool. Two four, and then the solo comes in. So I want to take it from here. This part where you go, you go. And then our walk up, two to four on the E, and the solo comes in. Two D to four, to an open G, rest, two opens, rest. So you have. Open hammer two on the D. Open G, two G, slide to four, to three B vibrato, so it's. Two on the G, slide four. Um, let's see. Yeah. And then go three, open on the B, to two G. And then a rest. 238, you're gonna go on D2. Uh, slide four, slide back to two. And then open. So. And then we're going to need our third finger. Two, slide four. To two G. So it's. Open D. Rest. Two D twice, hammer to four. To two G. Three B. Two E. Sounds like this. B slide to 7 to 5E, 8B slide to 10 to 5E. This is a pretty cool part. And then uh, 246 timestamp, third finger 5B slide to 7, 5E twice vibrato. Uh, top of page 4, 5E, 5B, hammer 7. Then go 5B, 7G. Then you go arpeggio, 6G, 5th fret B and E, it's a hold. So it's... Er, slide from 5 to 7 on the E. And then 6G, 5E together. And then 5th fret B, E. So I go hybrid pick. 
pick and like middle finger G and E string. All right, when you do that, then leave it and then pluck the uh, or pick the B and E string on that fifth fret as well. So then you'll go six G. You're already there. You can also keep the five B. We just need to add a third finger to seven D and go G D B G. And that's a hold. So it's you have. And then, uh, yeah, 2A, open G and B. You can hybrid and use two fingers, or you can hide the pick, thumb index middle. Same thing with 4A, barred second fret, G, B. So it's... And then section 1B, from the star. Okay, you start from there and finish the section. That'll take you to like a little turnaround ending at 317, which is the G. Um, down on the root and then down up on the chord. Do that twice. G. Just up to there. And then remember this 7075 strum. Move it back a whole step. Open E, or go to the D. But that's all repeat. But when you end it, you go to the D with the F sharp bass. Like that, or you can bar it. Or you can just go, you can just drum the D major chord. So have fun with that. And um, it's catchy. It's one of those songs that's, that's been, in my, uh, been in my head since I heard it, actually. Good song. Talk to you soon, buddy.